everybody, it's Hannah, or as you might know me as the Beauty Monster, and today we're going to do some April favorites. And I know it's um, May 12th, I was so slow on the update because A, I was sick, B, school, and there's not really a C, that's kind of it. Oh, I just got caught up in so much schoolwork because you know it is the end of the year, exams, getting grades to the perfect grade, A, um, and such, and I keep getting ill. And it's quite weird, and I don't understand what's going on. If any disease or illness comes my way, I'm just bound to get it. But yeah, sorry about that. I am going to try until um, June 1st, which is the last day of school. Weird, it's on a Monday. Is that just dumb? They planned it so wrong on this. But um, yeah, so till June 1st, I'm going to try at least put two videos out a week because I am busy. But um... After June 1st, I'll put out like three videos a week or four because I'll then it'll be summer and I'll have time. So it would be. Um, but yeah. So how about we just get started? First, I'm going to do clothes. Okay, I'm just going to tell you what I do first. Uh, or the order I'm doing it in. So I'm going to do um, clothes. Then I'm going to do, um, well, clothes and shoes. It's like one thing. <sighs> so clothes and shoes. Then I'm going to go on to... Um, Hair care and body care. Then I'm going to go on to like accessories slash makeup. And then I'm going to go on to food. And then I'm going to go on to other. So let's jump right in. So obviously I've got the clothes. And um, first you'll see the t-shirts and shirts that I like. And I think these are like all tank tops. Oh no, there's one t-shirt in here. Great. Good job, Hannah. Um, the first one I've got is a... Um, where did I get this? Oh, it's Brandy Melville. And it's um, like a very loose tank top. It's quite long. It goes down to my bottom. <laughs> like the bottom of my bottom. Bottom. Bosom. Words. And it's, um, yeah, it's super loose. It's got these cute little, um, like, rose kind of drawings on it. And then the back, it's got an opening with another tassel. Tassel. Strap. Why did I call it a tassel? But yeah, it's quite nice. I really like it. And it's got, it's like ruffly. So go from like one ruffle here down to another ruffle. So yeah. And then a very ruffle at the bottom, which is quite nice. So I like that. This next one is from Forever 21 and it's a crop top, but it's, um, so it's white and it's, I'm not totally sure what this material is called. Oops. Um, but it's got these really cute, it's like Indian, more like bohemian pattern, but it's neon pink and orangey. And then it's got ruffled at the bottom, and it's adorable, so yay. And then the next one is the same exact cut as the first one, and it's the and same material and everything. And um, it's just got a different pattern on it, and it's that, like more flowers. Exact, exact same pattern except for it's only got two of the ruffles or one. Oh, it's only got yeah It's only two of the ruffles and um, Yeah, same exact thing, but I got this surprisingly at wings Which is a beach store if you've ever been on the East Coast and I know there's one in California But I don't know I haven't seen it anywhere else on the West Coast But they really upped up their game with all of their clothing like it gets to be just tourist trap clothing but now it's actually good clothing so good job guys um next is from forever 21 of course i get so many things from there and it's um i don't know if you can tell but it's kind of it's great so it's a t-shirt and it's made it's, uh, it's like cotton like really thick cotton and it's so soft and then when you get to here it's like quilt fabric and it, but it's not. It just looks like that. How it's stitched, it's so cool with like the more rose pattern. Everybody, who, but everybody who I like see me wear, they're like, "Oh, is that really heavy?" And I'm like, "Nah." They're like, "But it's a quilt." I'm like, "It's just, it's just stitched like a quilt." They're like, "No, no, no, that's a quilt." I'm like, "No." But okay, whatever. Next, last T-shirt that I've been loving. Oh, it's not buttoned up. Great, thank you. Um. <laughs> Just get up. So it is this jean top. It's like, uh, it is a crop top. And it had, oh. So as you can see back here for the back part of it, it is um, just a see-through blue lace. And then 
denim on the front with little like pearl like buttons to button it up and then it also has um these so you can tie it and it is a crop top and it's from forever 21 so ah yes great now on to um bottoms which would be first of all more forever 21 um and it is these like Whenever I think of these, I think of like sailor bottoms. Is that making sense? Like if you ever see like anime or any cartoon, they like wear like really buttoned up pants. So um, that's what it reminds me of. And then it's high waisted and it's from Forever 21 also. And it's got this blue pattern and I've got this one, which is the same exact thing. And it's in purple. So yeah, these are so cute and they're really comfortable. Wow. This one is, um, these, these last ones. Um, this is from The Closet in California. I don't know if they're a, um, you, just a California-based store, because that's the only place I've ever seen them. Whenever I talk about them here in Florida, nobody knows what they're, what, what the, what the store is. So I think it's only a California-based store. But yeah, so it's got, like, these, um, almost, oh, is it, like, what is that word? Embroidered fabric on the bottom and then this really cool printed flower bottoms and then same fabric as the bottom for the tie. And like I said, these are from the closet. So yeah. And then next we're doing skirts, which include this one from Forever 21. And it is a high-waisted skater skirt and it's made out of the softest material ever. I wish I could just wear it as a hat and live in it because it's so soft but besides the fact it's super cute it's got this awesome um pattern and it's just black and white and yeah it's like i said from Forever 21 and it's pretty much it but so nice um next i've got this uh, maxi skirt so you're not gonna see like the whole entire thing but it's just this color maxi skirt and you know it's springtime jumping into summer neon orange look at that it even like reflects onto my skin it's so bright it's so pretty and so soft and this is also from the closet which i was talking about earlier so yep next i got this um sheer i think that's the word for this it's like it's a sheer um midriff skirt so it goes from your waist down to below your calves but not to your ankles huh hair um and it is from windsor and it's a gold almost pink color and it's made of Can you guys hear that what is that material called but yeah it is so pretty and so nice and i wore it for a showcase and it was just the best and i love this skirt so much i wish i could go on a date and just wear it oh yes great um oh come here dress so yeah we're moving on to the dresses and that includes this um leopard print black and blue dress forgot the word for a second and it's really cool because it's made out of like super soft fabric like you would wear or not wear but you would put on your bed like that really soft you guys know what I'm talking about? What is, I don't, I don't understand the words. I need to learn more fabric -y terms for this, guys. Pretty sure, because I got this as a gift for my grandmother. Pretty sure she got it from Beals, which is also, I think, only found on the East Coast. So I'm pretty sure that's where she found it. But it is a skater skirt um, dress, and it goes like that. It's the same print. And then it's really cool, because in, like, the middle, it's got, it goes, like, that there's like a part <laughs> I'm trying to explain this to you and then it goes on the way down to the bottom I can't I wish I could show you this so you see the crease it goes all the way down to the bottom and so it like cuts and it like gives a really cool figure I don't know really how to explain it right now but it's pretty cool and then um this one I got from, where did I get this from? Dear Lord, I cannot think of where, oh, Tilly's. That's from Tilly's. Okay, good. Whew. Um, and it is one of those, oh, I don't know what it's called, like when it goes like this, where it's just, it cuts from the armpit right up to like your neck. 
and you don't see any of the breast area. Ooh la la. And it's um it's two layers and it's like that on the inside so you don't see anything that you don't want to see. And it's got this really cool like Aztec Indian Bohemian print and it's so nice and it's got ruffles all the or like roughly stuffed all the way down to the bottom and this sh it was a dress originally but it kind of shrunk into a shirt or like I guess I could just put over a bathing suit and it'd be fine as a dress but it shrunk into like a t-shirt more so yeah but it's still cute so that's what matters I suppose um next is um like overwear cardigan thingies so this one is a um flannel tank top cardigan and it's really long and it goes all the way down to like my bosom again so I guess I could wear this as like a little dress if I ever wanted to so yeah it's just this with the buttons and I love it so so much it's also very soft yet again I feel like lumberjack's wife <laughs> that analogy um and then last but not least for clothing for this um kimono Come on, uh, rah, what is the word? Damn, there, dang it. Cannot think of words these days. And it is, I can't really show you, but it is this black. Here, maybe I can just put it on. Ugh. Alrighty. So it is a black. What is these things called again? Dang it. Come on, come on now. It's almost come on now. But um, on every single end of it, it's got all of this fringe. See how that you see it? See? See all that fringe? It's literally on every end. And then on the sleeves ends, we've got like ugh, I'm trying to show you. Can you see it? Can you see it? It's like embroidered <laughs> lace on the ends. I think I can help. There you go, you guys can sign it, kinda of see it right there. And uh, it's got it on the bottom and then it's it's super long. It goes down to like my knees. And it's obviously see-through, and it's black, and it is from Tilly's. I didn't say that. So, yeah, that's clothing. Moving on to shoes. These babies are um, Charlotte Russe, and they're basically knockoff of Dark, Doc, <laughs> Doc Martens. But the print was so pretty, and, you know, I always wanted floral boots. So these were the pair to go for. And, um, yeah pretty much it on that part it's just lace up like regular so there's those and then next is um don't I oh I got these from Ross and they are just these um fringe ankle boots and they are so comfortable I cannot get out and they are so cute yes friend work it work it okay anyways um, next is obviously my white Converse that aren't, are getting dirty, but, you know, oh well. Um, obviously love these guys so much. This is, like, my everyday wear are these Converse. Like, these babies been through a lot with me. And then, last but not least for shoes is these, oh, I should, like, tie them before I show you so that they look nice. And they are from an app that I found on my iPhone and it's called Wish and it's basically like eBay and you just look up something that you want. I looked up platform boot and found these babies. So they're a white platform boot and you've probably seen them during like my um, Easter outfit videos and they're so cute. I can't, oh yes. But yes, these I got on Wish and they are basically eBay so everything is much cheaper then it would normally be in stores. So yeah, that was great. Now, moving on to um, hair and body care. So that rhymes, I love that. So body care, I've got this Moonlight moonlight Path, which um, <clears throat> from Bath and Body Works, and it is a uh, Shea and Vitamin E body lotion. And it's so nice. Like when you put it on your skin, it feels cooling. Like, I mean, ev I think every lotion would feel cooling, but this feels like cooling, especially because it is, um, yeah, let me just show you what the package looks like. Because it has, like, lavender scent in it, so it feels especially cooling, which is so nice. And then, um, yeah, so that's that. 
And then next I've got from Forever 21, God, I shut up at Forever 21 too much, um, are these um, face masks. And both of them are really good. It's Love and Beauty by Forever 21, um, Bye Bye Blemish Purifying Dead Sea Mask, which is this one in Mango. Hope you guys can see that. And then this one is the Papaya Deep Clean and Purifying Love and Beauty by Forever 21 Shine Purifying Dead Sea Mask. And these things are so nice. And uh, who doesn't like <laughs> masks? <laughs> Made so much sense. Good job, Hannah. Um, next are the, for hair care, is obviously the best, bestie stay. Am I saying this right? Probably not. Can never speak correctly. Dry shampoo, um, flora and flirty blush, which is just for, you know, dry shampoo and it smells so amazing. This is one just for smell, like for smell and shampoo instead of like the colored ones. And it's so nice. I love it so much. And then next is the not your mother's beach babe texturing sea salt spray and this thing is like so cute i look in the bottle oh my god i got this from urban outfitters oh i also got the spray from urban outfitters or dry shampoo i mean um and that's what the packaging looks like and it's it's really cool to like texturize your hair and just like if you have a bedhead day put this in and then it's like oh, i just woke up from the sea and i don't know it's pretty cool i mean it's a good idea next is um Herbal Essences, which I just got at my neighborhood Publix, and it is Herbal Essences, um, Totally Twisted Curl Boosting Mousse, and this is such a great mousse, like, I love this thing, and it smells so amazing, it smells like fruit, and I just, oh, I love it so much, <sighs> okay, it is really strong, though, like, I gotta say, just good hold, good hold, good job, um, so, yeah, next thing, so I'm just putting it back, is um for the hair or like hair moving into accessories is obviously my flower headband and if you've been on this channel for a while you've obviously seen this thing many a time because this is obviously like my trademark headband i love this thing so much it's so cute and i just can't it's so amazing and then moving directly into accessories we've got my gold oh and i got that from i got that headband from urban outfitters and this gold watch they have before me right now it is um not real gold obviously and i got it from um forever 21 so yeah and then this one this is just a choker you obviously have like seen these around if you don't live under a rock and or in an amish land which they wouldn't be seeing this video anyways um it, it is Oh, man. It is just, you know, like a tattoo choker, kind of, and I got it on the app Wish, which I also got those shoes. And then next thing I got, or I have, is this, um, have you guys seen these? Gosh, I hope you have. You just put it right here on your finger, and then you would tie it around your wrist, and then it's like a, a hand bracelet thingy and it's so cute and I love it and I would usually wear it with um these really these really small rings which just go like on your finger so it's just extra pizzazz going on all around the town town sorry strange and then last but not least for accessories are these um I got these from the thrift store so I don't know you could probably you could probably easily make these you know what if you guys want to learn how to make these I will show you because I used to do this as a kid so it is just these bottle cap earrings and it says Starbones Coffin and it's the Starbucks logo but she's like a, here let me see if I can steady it, it's like a skull instead of a mermaid and yeah I love these so much they're so cute. So yeah if you want to learn how to make those I'm pretty sure I can make a video on it so just comment down below and let me know okay cool. Um, now jumping into makeup. We have got, and sorry, like, the sun is disappearing from me. Goodbye. With no warning. Okay, so, first of all, for lip, I have got this, which I got, which is, what brand is this? Dang it. Is this a, the brand? I'm, I'm a beauty guru, right? I don't know the brand. Good job, Hannah, but I just got it from, uh, dang it, from Ulta, and it is just this pink, Stick, and it's not like a high-end brand. It's probably like Maybelline. Oh, it says no, new, new, 
color sensational. So yeah, it is not like a high-end brand. So it's probably, you can find this at the drugstore, but it's just a pink, bright pink. And yeah, we're jumping into summer. So pink has been a good look for me right now. And then besides that, I've got this NYX uh, Blix backing uh, fun colors. And it is this, the bottle is so dirty. I'm like, sorry. <laughs> But it is that, it's almost, it's a dark brown, almost purple color, and it's so moisturizing and so easy to put on. It's actually what I've got on right now, and it's nice. I mean, who wouldn't love it? And then on to um, mascara. These are testing tubes, which I got in mail from buying stuff on Ulta, which is so great. Thank you, people. Um, and this one is Benefit Their Real Mascara, and this is honestly, like, my favorite right now. It is what I'm wearing right now, and this is one coat, guys. This is one coat. Imagine what, like, 50 coats of this would be like. And then this is um the Clinique mascara, and I also got this, you know, like, in a box. And this is also a tester, and this one's so nice. It's really good with spreading lashes, so it would be, like, it's really good to put on first. And then next is just my uh, liquid eyeliner pencil black that I've been using by Ico Skinny, and this thing goes on, like, anything. This thing will go on eyeshadow so nicely, which is great. And then next is the Naked on the Run Decay, and if you guys don't know what's in here, then yet again, you're living under a rock and you don't watch beauty videos, which is just bronzer, blush, highlighter, and then five of their new colors, then um, lip gloss, eyeliner, and mascara. And I just love all those colors in there. So that's all the done with more beauty products. Next on to food. What you've all been waiting for. Um, so first off I've got for like drinks is this um, tea and it's hot cinnamon sunset um, tea blend. And it tastes so good. It's like cinnamon and warmness and home and oh, it's so nice. I love it. This is so good. And it says black tea with cinnamons, orange and sweet cloves. And I this is so great because like the boxes are like metal tin so you I've been keeping these and using them as um places to hold makeup in which is so nice and then next on the drinks is the more refresher Starbucks refreshers tea in like the little cans and you just open it and tear it apart and put in water mix it up and you've got the refreshers tea which is so great love those things too and then these are next is coffee <laughs> coffee and it's um, the Cappuccino uh, Double Mocha by Hillsboro. And it's just, you know, like spoon it out and make coffee. And it's really good. And I really love it. So, yeah. And the other coffee that I love is... Oh, I hope my battery isn't dying. That would be bad. The other coffee, coffee that I've been having is um, the other Starbucks one. And it comes in the same exact packaging look as that but obviously it has coffee on it and it also is the mocha one and the french vanilla one which is so good but obviously I drink it all so I don't have it with me and then these next things I'm gonna list are also things I don't have with me with me because I ate them so yeah sorry um so first I love kale chips so much and if you guys don't know what that is and you want to learn then tell me that com comment down below and I'll show you guys how to make them because they are utterly amazing and then I've also been loving the um, Naked Green Machine uh, Juice. They're just in like huge tubs or really small tubs for the go. And they're just fruit juice and it's so good. I love the Green Machine and I love the purple one too, but I'm not really sure what that's called. And then last food that I can think of at this moment that I've really, really been loving is the um, Special K Barbecue Chips. Oh my God. I'm in love. They are so good. You literally taste like you're eating barbecue food. It's so nice. Oh, I love it so much. I want more. I want more. Addicted. Obsessed. Somebody call the addicted obsessed police. Oh. So yeah, that's it. That all I can think of for food. So let's move on to random stuff. So eh, reaching over to grab the random stuff. First, I don't know why, I just want to show you guys my, my, my yoga mat, which is actually my mom's yoga mat, yoga mat because I've been loving doing yoga lately, and uh, I like yoga mats, they're so squishy, and I like them, so yeah, yeah. 
Um, then I've got my Polaroid camera, which I love so much. Also, this thing is life, takes pictures, makes memories, and I really want to make one of those like um, string hearts when I move into my new house for because I'm I'm doing a full new room, guys full new room like i am getting rid of my bedspread getting a new one getting new furniture making my furniture look different new setup whole nine yards so that's gonna be really cool for you guys like i will show you guys how to make stuff and what i'm getting and i'll show you guys the result that's gonna be so cool but yeah polaroid awesome next is my selfie stick so obviously this has been really good so i can vlog and um taking pictures when i'm at like the beach and i want to get group selfies or I just want to get a picture of my whole like surfboard or paddle board, so that's been really cool. And then um, my I should have put these in accessories. This is what it counted, but um, it's just my heart shaped sunglasses, which are also from Twenty One. So yeah. And then last but not least are just books that I want to tell you guys about, which I love so much. And um, I've got my handy dandy Kindle out. Oh God, go to your natural era. So I've been really loving John Green. He's the reason why I want to be a writer so much. Um, is my other like dream job, like realistic dream job, dream job. And um, one uh, book that I am reading right now is Paper Towns, and it's obviously like I just finished it, and it's turning into a movie. So you better read that really quick, and it's an amazing story. I love it so much. And then next is John Green's Looking for Alaska, and that's my all-time favorite book. I feel like it just speaks to me in so many ways, and I love it so much. So you guys should too. And the next book that I've been reading with my mom, nonetheless, is, um, uh, what is it called? The Poison Princess series. Oh my god. If you guys like Hunger Games or Divergent or any of those, like, um, like, more fan fiction reality apoc apocalyptic, I can't, you guys know what I'm saying apocalyptic um stories you will love that it is so amazing i'm not even gonna spoil it for you guys but hey if you guys don't want me to recommend books just ask because i am the i'm a huge bookworm to be honest i've got a kindle for goodness sake of course i'm a bookworm but yeah so if you guys enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up comment down below those questions that i ask you during the video which hopefully you guys remember i think i asked you guys about kale chips and book recommendations is that what i asked you i think i'd probably ask you guys something else so yeah comment those question answers nah, nah. down below nah. um please subscribe if you haven't already give a monster a home under your bed because i only supply the finest of monsters and we would all love to have you here so much because we are a big happy family so far so good um so yeah i love you all so 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 much and i'll see y'all later